Tales Abuse. I'm what you would call a retro gamer. I love to play old games, but I also find myself respecting the newer titles as well. But I specifically love games created by Sega. Revenge of the Shinobi, Streets of Rage, Sonic, Golden Axe. But a month ago, something happened. Something made me look at all these wonderful games in another perspective. It was a foggy night, 3 a.m. to be more specific. I was playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on an emulator. I chose both Sonic and Tails as my character and started playing. After reaching the chemical plant zone, I got bored, so I decided to play a little with the characters. I went to a part of the zone where I could find as many enemies as possible. A grabber, a spider that grabs the character and then self-destructs, and a spiny who shoots balls of acid. I used Tails to have the fun with, since he's invincible and imitates every move that Sonic makes. I took a few steps forward so the enemy could see me, and when it attacked, I ran away, leaving Tails behind. I did that several times until something weird happened. All of a sudden, Tails' animation changed to the one he makes when he drowns, and the sound was different too. It was the sound of your character when he touches spikes without having any rings left. The sound was very loud too, even more than usual. I thought this was a bug since the game was playing on an emulator. I waited for Tails to appear again, but he never showed up. I just decided to reset the game. Everything was normal, except for the part where the logo is supposed to appear, showing Tails and Sonic smiling. When I looked at it, Tails was missing. He just wasn't there at all. And instead of smiling, Sonic had a weird reaction like he was disappointed or depressed. I was getting a little scared too, since it was way too weird just to be a simple emulator bug. But I tried to dodge it, and I began playing again. I went to the options menu to choose both Sonic and Tails, like I did last time. But the only option that was there was to play as Sonic. All the other options were missing. I honestly didn't know what to think. I began playing, and when I looked at Sonic's sprite on the Emerald Hill Zone, he had the wrong expression. He looked uncomfortable, like when you don't touch the controller for some time. I controlled Sonic, but even when running, his expression didn't change. I was seriously creeped out. So I just closed the emulator and turned on my Sega Genesis so I could play correctly without all those... I don't even know what to call them, but I'm pretty sure they're not just bugs. When the game started, Sega's logo was different. It was red, and the sound was... Well, it was louder, like the one I heard when Tails disappeared. I tried to believe that it was just a glitch again, the console was very old, but I was starting to get my doubts. Despite of the weird glitch, everything was back to normal. Tails was on the logo again, the sprites were okay, and the sounds were normal too. <sighs> I sighed in relief and started playing. When I reached the boss, I didn't have any rings to fight him with. And when Tails touched Robotnik's car, he made the same animation that he made on Chemical Plant Zone. And then the game froze. I started freaking out and reset it. The screen was now white. No Sega logo. No sprites. No sounds. 
No, nothing. I quit the game. I was really creeped out by now. And when I went to turn off the console, a text box appeared. I couldn't believe it. I have never seen such thing in this game. But I was even more surprised by the text. You killed him. I tried to press all the buttons on the controller, but nothing worked. I also tried to turn off the console, but I couldn't. I even tried turning off the television, but it just stayed on. I was very scared by now. I sat on the sofa and grabbed the controller. Again, another text box appeared. You destroyed his life. Are you going to destroy mine too? Are you having fun? Are you? I pressed the A button again and I was now on the chemical plant zone. The background was different though. The background was more darker than usual, and I could see different shades of red. Was it blood? The music was different too. It was the boss's music, but reversed and slow. Only Sonic was there. The gameplay was normal, besides one little thing. When I defeated an enemy, instead of a sprite of a bunny or a chicken, I would see the same animal, but torn apart and in a puddle of blood. The blood was so realistic. I didn't even reach the second stage. and the end of the first stage, I couldn't control Sonic anymore. He began running for two minutes, and then he stopped. Another text box appeared. Are you ready? Ready to see what you've done to him? I was speechless. I asked myself what I could have done to let this happen. But then I realized it. Did I? kill tails I couldn't believe it it was just a game it was just a bunch of codes I couldn't do such a thing then another text box appeared but this one was different there was just a yes or no option I didn't hesitate to click no I knew it I couldn't even choose that option I had to choose yes. The game wanted me to choose yes. I did that, and it was a horrible mistake. The screen faded to black, but five seconds after, I saw a close-up of Tails' corpse. It was full of wounds, his guts were thrown around, and he was missing an eye. That image was so realistic, I almost vomited. Then another text box appeared. I hope you're happy. You killed me. Were you having fun with it? I know you were. Do you want to do it again? No, please play with me again. I'm just a simple toy for you. A simple toy for all of you. I was horrified. I felt something different inside me. Was it guilt? It couldn't be. I'm sure more players already did this with Tails, but was he really in pain? I never touched a retro game since. I spend my days playing on my PS3, and every time my character dies, I remember what happened. I will never forget. <laughs>